Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Lunar Ghosties here, and we are back with episode 9 of Sims in Bloom. This is going to be a jam-packed, busy episode. It is winter, day one. It's raining right now, it's a little bit chilly, and it's a full moon tonight. But if we take a look at our calendar, if you guys recall, episode 8, Juniper and Knox got engaged on Harvest Fest. So we have a wedding to plan for, and that is what this whole week is going to entail. So tomorrow, we're going to be celebrating the engagement with an engagement dinner. It's just going to be family only, plus Kyle, because, you know, Kyle, Kyle's part of the family. We, we consider Kyle part of the family. We love Kyle. And then Wednesday is going to be like a family gathering, but it's going to be family and friends. And it's just going to be like a nice gathering at um, Duncan and Juniper's home. They're going to host and everything and it'll be a good time. And then Thursday is the last hurrah of a, uh, of a not married Juniper. So it is going to be Juniper's bachelorette party. And there may be a few Sims that you guys will get to meet for the first time time. And then Sunday, which we will be saving for episode 10, the big double digits, we have the wedding ceremony. So we'll see how much wedding planning we can get done in this episode. I'm gonna have her bond with her dormant bees. They're enraged right now, but hopefully, you know, hopefully they're they're nice to us because we're still bonding with them even though they're dormant. And we're gonna collect, oh, they're, ooh. I'm gonna have you, I know you just got like attacked, but I'm gonna have you collect the swarm because we have a bunch of new winter plants that we need to pollinate. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna have you pollinate everything nearby. These I'm not too worried about, but we do have some sage to harvest. Duncan already cleaned out the coop, so I'm gonna collect the eggs. We are down to one of each, so hopefully we can have another incubated egg. If anybody has a fix for this, I can't get rid of them. And it's driving me nuts because we just have smelly burgers. Every now and then when they're near this area, they get like all upset and angry that something smells and I can't, I can't, there's no fix for it. So if anybody has a fix for the smelly burgers, please let me know. Duncan's inside, just kind of standing. I'm gonna have you sit down though with your book. If you're gonna read, why don't you like sit by the fire and relax? They also, if you guys have not noticed already, I gave them new outfits for winter. Now that it is winter, they're gonna, you know, they need to dress warmer. Hopefully you guys like all of their new outfits. Some have changed, some have evolved, I suppose. Juniper, you're going to get soaked, so I'm gonna have you come here please and do we have any food in the fridge i feel like it's gonna be a very like we're not gonna be able to grow as many ingredients unfortunately now that it's winter so it might be a very like heavy like grocery shop delivery type situation or like going to kim and getting the groceries that way but they're they're a bit stocked up on some food for now so hopefully they don't need to go too often for the winter it's almost like they were preparing for like hibernation <laughs> or something while you're in here since it's a rainy day can can you do more laundry for us? Duncan, I'm gonna let you nap lazily in your little chair. And Juniper wants to level up in the handiness skill. She's got right now, I think zero handiness skill. Oh, she's got like level one. So she like knows what handiness is. She's just never attempted it before, I suppose. Cause Duncan takes care of that. And Duncan's a very like manly man where he's like, well, if you're marrying Knox, Knox then needs to take care of the handiness. You can't do that. Not that she's not capable of doing it. Just that he, he wants, he treats her special, you know? And our washing machine broke. Well, well, Juniper, now's your time to shine. You wanna repair things? Why don't you try repairing this since Duncan's napping anyway? Now's your time to shine. Show us what you're made of. Hopefully you got this. And do, yeah, definitely do it while Duncan's asleep. Don't let him see that you're, you're working on your handiness skill. Duncan will never know the difference, right? As for money though, I don't think Juniper has too much to worry about. Or Duncan, I suppose, since we're still under Duncan's roof. We have 32,089 simoleons because we sold a bunch of the fruits and vegetables that ended up in our household inventory, probably from the fall to winter transition. So we have a lot of money, or we've come into a lot of money, I guess. So I'm not complaining. And she'll have enough money then to like move out and move in with Knox. So that's good as well. See, Duncan, look at how happy you are just chilling with the fire. Fire. You're living the life, pal. You're living the life. What I would give, right? I mean, obviously not today. Today is like a 90, a 91 degree Fahrenheit day, but this is the life. Just like, uh, here, let's, let's just, 
There we go. Look, we're Duncan. First person Duncan sitting by the fire playing some Tetris. He's trying. Look at how hard he's pressing the buttons. I'm sorry also if this makes anybody motion sick. That's not my intention. I just thought it would be silly to picture ourselves by the fire. And uh, we also got to witness an old man working on technology trying to play Tetris by smacking down. And I think I'm gonna let them have an early night. They, they had a late start to the day, so I don't think they're really that tired. And Duncan did nap today, but I'm I'm sure he could go for an early night nonetheless. And Juniper, you as well, because we've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. It's about five in the morning. Duncan is wide awake, ready to start his day, ready to clean out the spoiled food in the fridge, and also ready to put the laundry away. And I think I'm gonna have him, oh, Juniper's awake now as well, and also hungry. So once Duncan's done doing all of that, I think I'm going to have him serve some breakfast. And we haven't had eggs and toast. We've had scrambled eggs and bacon and fruit salad, I think. No, 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 no bread, no bread. Oh, why don't you vacuum? Let Duncan cook breakfast, please. But we're gonna have some eggs and toast. Juniper has work today. We still have to get her to reach logic level four. I don't think she's gonna be promoted unless we do that. So I think what I'm gonna have us do, I don't know what happened to her logic book that we got at the library. Maybe she ended up returning it. And I'm gonna let her probably read that once she's had her breakfast. Juniper's so cute. They like never do this, but she just decided on her own to set the table for her and Duncan. That's so sweet. And it looks like Duncan has finished and he's got the eggs and toast. So Juniper, when you're done setting the table, I'm gonna have you grab a serving so you and Duncan can enjoy this beautifully set table together. I guess she's just, she's feeling the high of her engagement. She's like, you know what? It's a good day. I'm about to maybe, you know, obviously her, she's not gonna live with Duncan probably when her and Knox get married. So she's just trying to soak up the last week or so of her and Duncan together. Oh my God, wait. Oh my God, wait. I was I was watching these little things like fall. Are these the mites? I've never seen this before, honestly. So these must be the mites that bother the bees. And that's why we apply the mite treatment. I thought it was like bees falling because it's like dormant, but no, it's, it's the mites. I've never noticed that before. I've just never noticed that before. So that's really, really good. Okay, cool. <laughs> So now that, oh wow, they're, they're gone. I find small little details really cool and exciting. <laughs> and I've had seasons since it came out and I never have noticed that before. <gasps> the bees are so upset with us. Listen, it's not my fault that it's cold out. <laughs> It's not my fault. Duncan, why do you always put yourself in harm's way with the bees? All right, we are here to sell our very minimal groceries in Henford on Bagley. I decided to bring Duncan with us. We're gonna have to come here anyway for our engagement dinner. So I figured it would not make sense to just leave him at home. Looks like Agatha's working the stand today. So I'm gonna let Duncan, I don't know why my Sims keep resetting who they know and who they don't know, but I'm gonna have him reintroduce himself to Agatha and chat with her because they definitely know each other. I also realized, wait a minute, thank you for, the haggling was successful, yay. But I also just realized that I never announced, or rather Juniper never announced that she was engaged. So obviously we'll sell our items first, but then we're gonna tell Kim like, hey, guess what? We got engaged. Bit of a smaller profit today, but we have 359 simoleons. Now as for Duncan, what the heck is going on here? Oh no. Duncan is Agnes's faring friend today. She is happy to offer Duncan a favor of her being a member of the village community. If Duncan wants to carry forward the daily faring friend tradition, he should find a Henford on Bagley local and offer them a Finchwick favor he thinks they'd enjoy. Agnes, is this for having you like join our club? You're being nice to us? That's so sweet. I always, you see, she's angry and we have a little bit of negative interaction. I think, you know, she likes us. We're both hot-headed, that's, that's the thing. So we'll see if Agatha has anything that's a little bit easier for Elder Duncan to do. This one is, do I know you? A fresh face, always lovely to see someone new around the village. Yeah, we're not that new, but I, <laughs> we had a conversation on Halloween, Agatha. Can you be a deer and help me out with some things? I've heard that there's some juicy gossip around and I've only got two ears. Can you find a gnome who knows some things and some Sims who don't know what they're missing? You'll help, won't you? Oh, of course you will. I can see it in your eyes. Do you know who's always around and listening? The gnomes. Find a local gnome and ask them for some gossip. Then let's have a sweet treat to celebrate afterward. You know what else would help? Find me some single Sims. I'm always looking for my next matchmaking project. Duncan, who's single and loving it is about to help 
Agatha, who likes to set people up. But we'll, I guess, talk to the gnome. I think Duncan's like, this lady's a little bit crazy, but it's extra money that I can put towards, you know, my daughter and her wedding. So what's the gossip, gnomey? Look at him, he's like, what the heck am I doing? Why am I talking to this gnome? Duncan gave a discussion with a gnome, a proper go, nothing happened. He better dream up something satisfactory to report back to Agatha. Maybe Agatha's just losing her mind a little bit. But it looks like we've got some Sims here, so let's talk to Cecilia Kang, see if she's single so that we can report that back. We need to find two, so maybe Gilberto as well. I'm gonna ask him if he's single. Hopefully that does not count as a flirtatious reaction though. Okay, Gilberto single, that's good to know. And so is Cecilia. So maybe Agatha can set these two up. All right, Duncan, what are we reporting here? The gnome stumbled across two villagers doing what inside an animal shed? <laughs> oh my, you'll make an old lady blush. I can't wait to tell the hens about this in our cross stitch meetup. All right, and then we will report the single sims. And I think we will also see if Agatha here, since she's also an elder, are you interested in joining the power walking rangers, Agatha. You look like you might enjoy some power walking with some friends. Yeah? It's because we're a popular club. It's, it's because we're popular. But now that all of their errands are out of the way, let's see, does Agatha need anything else from us? Oh, she needs to go deliver a dessert. No, I don't want to tend to the bar. Is she Is she not working? Sarah, I need I need a dessert from you. I feel like Duncan and Juniper are so like well-liked here that maybe Duncan can get away with baking something. So I think I'm going to have him do some sugar cookies. Duncan's the kind of hothead where he's like, what the heck? Why are you not? behind the bar. Now this guy's behind the bar, but he doesn't work here. She must be just like on break or something. I don't know. Oh no. Oh. Baking is terrible. Duncan does not seem to be having a good time. Yeah, okay. You can dislike baking, but don't worry, Duncan. You're almost done. There we go. I hope you like our subpar sugar cookies. Could the message from the gnomes be any clearer? Love is in the air, or at least it will be once I sprinkle a little of my matchmaking magic. Perk up, my dear. We're in this together now. Come see me again when you're ready for our next undertaking. Oh, don't worry. Your next undertaking will be power walking with the crew. They made it with like an hour to spare, but they're getting some fishing in. Juniper's leveling up some of her fishing skill. Duncan is still doing his little old man footsteps over to the uh, fishing spot, but that's okay. We have like a half hour until their little engagement dinner. The weather is not yeah. holding up too well though. It's time for the engagement dinner. And look, everybody's all dressed up so cute. So I'm gonna have us do the same and let's get started. Shall we is there a table big enough to fit all of us? So maybe we can all sit here together, but Duncan I don't think you guys have formally met you and blossom So I'm gonna have you introduce yourself to her because that is your Parenting counterpart other than Mary who you got along with pretty well looks like Mary is choosing to hang out solo at the bar Kyle obviously is gonna be our flower pal as for everybody else. We're just going to thank for coming Kyle said yes Oh, they're sharing a little hug. All right, Duncan is taking care of Mary, making sure that she still feels welcome because she's just being so low here. As she does, I, these Greenbergs are a mystery, I swear. But for some reason, Mary likes Duncan, so I guess that's a good thing, right? Do they have like good compatibility? I'm curious. They do, what the heck? So Juniper and Mary have horrible compatibility. They have bad compatibility, but Duncan and Mary get along really great. We're just gonna catch up with Knox. We haven't seen him since Harvest Fest and everything. We've thanked pretty much everybody for coming other than Mary. She has not tried to talk to Mary yet, but we're just kind of catching up with Knox, making sure that we're on the same page for the wedding. Why don't you say hello to Mary or at least thank her for coming? We'll introduce ourselves again, be like, hey, it's your future daughter-in-law. How's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for coming all this way to Henford. I really, really appreciate it. Do you have any advice? That's a great way to lead in to hopefully a fresh start with Mary. Did she shrink? Hello? Hello? She just said, I, I don't feel like I'm being average height anymore. I'm just gonna boop. Alrighty. Uh, there's definitely clearly something wrong with my game out of nowhere. I don't know what's going on. Oh, she's back. Okay, perfect. What the? Uh, 
<sighs> you know, this is the, the problem with having engagement dinners or celebrations at a bar because then you accidentally schedule your engagement dinner the same night as bear night and then a bunch of people in bear suits show up. Duncan's gonna be, yeah, look, he's freaking out again because he's like, God, these people follow me everywhere. He's being stalked by all of these bears. This is turning out to be a very chaotic engagement dinner. I'm gonna see if we can gather everybody here to the couches and then see, you know, get away from the bears. Gonna have Juniper go here. Oh, not the bear, not the bear. And oh, everybody's leaving. No, Juniper wanted to make a speech. Everybody come back. Well, Vincenzo, thank you so much for being here. You know, I just, Juniper's really thankful that you've stumbled your way into this, but we're just gonna officially announce our engagement to everybody. We are going to make sure that everybody is aware of what's happening. Oh, even the bear. We have to, you know, we have to announce it to the bear. And of course, we're just gonna be like, I can't wait to get married to Knox. I can't wait to become your daughter-in-law. Knox can't wait to become your son-in-law. And we're just really excited and happy to have everybody here together celebrating with us. Everybody can go home now. It's Wednesday. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Duncan is up. I, the house is dusty, but I'm just gonna have Duncan get breakfast because Juniper's the one with the vacuum in her inventory. We still technically, I'm gonna see if I can wake her up now. We'll worry about vacuum in a second. I'm going to quickly harvest and then I think we're going to graft as much as I don't want to with this cutting. We're probably gonna regret this in the future just because um I don't want our sage bush to go away. But everything looks fine. So I guess we're okay. Oh no, here it is. Oh, and we completed our milestone. We so we have level three out of four of the freelance botanist aspiration. So we now need to achieve level 10 of the gardening skill, grow a cow plant which I have plans for. And we've already evolved to 10 excellent plants. So our evolving game is very, very strong. That's great though. Okay, so we are one away from leveling up to level four of the freelance botanist aspiration. Her career, she is a STEM re researcher. She's only level six. We are due for a promotion. So hopefully today she's got work in three hours. Maybe we'll send her in to work today because we have our family gathering later and I'll have Duncan prepare for that. Kind of like a surprise, even though she knows it's happening, you know, like he's gonna, he's gonna make the house all nice. Oh, and we were promoted to sap slicer. Okay, I'm gonna have her go into work. She will now make an additional 25 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 70 per hour. She's also received the following 800 simoleon bonus and life under a microscope, which might be another picture. So she starts Wednesday. So she only works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's like a full out nine to five. We need to get you working towards Juniper's fancy little fun family gathering today. Cause you guys don't really have like the best sized house for these things, especially for the amount of guests that you have invited. But I think we can make it work. I think we can make it work. I'm gonna see, maybe you can call a dessert in like a dessert order order a delivery let's do zoomers and see what pops up okay so zoomers only offers like food food and not desserts unfortunately but that's not to say is this also like a one meal situation it might be a one meal situation why don't you oh you can make a honey cake that might actually be good because you have some honey so at least like you won't have to worry about like baking necessarily because you cook a cake apparently, <laughs> according to The Sims. I'm gonna see if he can purchase his first electronic because he has pretty much no like TV or computer, but I'm gonna see if he can buy like a stereo or some kind so that these guys can have like music to dance to and celebrate with. And then I'm gonna get him to cook a few other meals to have out and everybody can just kind of spread out between like the dining room table and the living room. I also have Duncan making some fish tacos because as we know, they have a lot of fish in their fridge from all the fishing that they have done. So he's just taking some of the fresh fish from camping and making some fish tacos to serve. And we'll need like a good picky appetizer. We have 
enough to make meatball tamale bites. And I think that would make for a really good appetizer. So I'm gonna have Duncan make that. And then all of the meals for later should be good to go. As for the house, the house is sparkling because Juniper vacuumed. Everything seems to be in working order, but we're obviously going to double check just to be safe. He went ahead and bought a jukebox because he's Duncan. And we all know that Duncan likes his old fashioned stuff. So if he's gonna have technology in his house, it's gonna be old technology. <laughs> Technology, but he's gonna upgrade that as well for us so that we know that it's working in tip-top shape for when everybody arrives. All right, Juniper is home from work and she brought home 560 simoleons. So she's changed. I'm gonna have her help Duncan out by mopping, but she's gonna walk in and be so surprised he got a jukebox. So I'm gonna have her hug Duncan for going above and beyond and of course buying technology so that they can have a really fun time and host everybody. Look at him, he gained confidence too. He was like, I can do it. I, I can, I know technology. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Of course he does, hun. Of course he does. That's your dad. Everybody should be arriving. Duncan, since you made all of the food, why don't we put that out for people to pick at? I would like to introduce to you one of Juniper's really good friends, Abigail Jensen. They went to high school together. They're going to be celebrating her bachelorette. Juniper needed some girl best especially for her wedding day. So they live in the city. They're from San Myshuno. So she's going to be spending her bachelorette in San Myshuno. She's going to be staying at their apartment and everything. And it'll be a really good time. Emerson DeLuca is another one of Juniper's friends that will be celebrating bachelorette with them. Oh, look at Duncan getting down. <laughs> you go, Duncan. Let's go. Yes, he, he's like, you know what? The jukebox wasn't such a bad idea after all. <laughs> I'm really vibing. All right, you guys, I am going to leave leave this part here. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you are excited for Juniper and Knox to finally tie the knot. And make sure you turn on that bell notification button. This way you get notified ASAP as soon as the wedding video goes live. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!